No, no, do I. Okay, sorry. All righty. So, we are now uh, moving on to item 4.1 the Corona Coca Week Program, page 373 of our agenda. <coughs> So, uh, today, but um, maybe if there's any questions for Alan, yeah, that was the Janus is all very early in the financial year of course, so there's not a huge amount of information about the report at this stage. Um, so, it's still um, hopefully for the next meeting, we'll have a bit more information around some of the work programs, etc., some of the time frames for some of them, which we don't have yet. Uh, so there's nothing in particular I need to highlight, I don't think, but certainly happy to answer any questions. So you'll see things like for path rehabilitation and the renewals program, and the minor reserves projects, etc. That a report will come with detailed on those for the to approve. And I'll make sure that happens in the next meeting. Seats around the trees have been done. There is um, there is something in terms of um, the first item on page 375, the Harrogate House car park. Um, that um, I was going to give up in my members report, but I'll touch on it now. And that is that um, we have been talking with the uh, Ministry of Education and um, we need to progress getting evaluation done on the land. So um, I've got a an idea that we could probably do that for the meeting for the work program portion of the meeting. Um, but yeah, it, it doesn't matter in the solution room, it'll just have it regardless. So if the Ministry would come back to us and we need to get evaluation done, that's just part of the, the process. Part of the process, so our property manager will just do that automatically. <coughs> so you can make it a note that it's going to get or something like that. Yeah, in the work program. Um, so we don't need to do anything in the work program, as you say, that'll just happen, but um, we do need to bring it up in the maintenance report so that it gets to council or something like that. Yeah, so um, can take it through that. Well, that was part of a discussion that we had with. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's, a, it's a district activity, but it needs to start from a community board. So, yeah, that will get a program, get that for rolling. Anyone else have any questions or questions to do? The minor reserves project is, is, is the only one with grey, so it's not started. I'm not even sure what the minor reserves project was. Um, no, no, that's what I was uh, referring to before, so a report will come to the next meeting. Oh, but okay. actually, just oh. about for your approval. Oh, okay. okay. Yep. So okay, report that's fine. With detail at the next meeting. Yep. And the, um, the bike park thing, it's like uh, under investigation. Um, the bike park gave a presentation to us. I don't think I would I think you were here and you weren't here either. Can you tell us yeah, I was right? here. I was you were here, big yep. pardon. Yep. Um, and I was talk that's what I was talking to Keith about yesterday, um, Peter right. Minkley, yep. about um, progress on that. Um, so I've only got one landowner now to to get permission from them. Okay, so way so just good. The short land management plan team is starting to get the the coastal plans need to get to that no, yeah. Gee, we'll kill any of the questions on the week program? No. 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 Yes, sir. Yep. Just a current whole community board received the current community board program. I'll second it. Well, 
place to take please say aye. Aye. Against, carried. Thank you. That brings us to our last item, which is the report. So I'll just hear on the table. Anything from Kevin? Um, no, not really. I, it's been pretty quiet. The only thing I have got feedback is that um, two lots of road works that I've witnessed, have evidence of, um, really well done jobs by the council, um, Takuma Bay Road, still working on that. They've started another area yesterday. Um, really, really impressed with the job, really high standard. And also Colville um, Wharf Road, they've been working on there, done a, an amazing job up there as well. Yeah, the residents, a um, couple of them I saw last week up there, mm. and they were like, oh, I've got to tell you. <laughs> yeah. We're really impressed. So, yeah, just a bit of feedback, really. That's good. Mm. <clears throat> the, the seats in the main street look cool, too. They do. Mm. They're smaller than I had thought. Yeah, we um, yeah. That, that was oh. what I was going to bring up on my report, but anyway, you yeah. No, I just I noticed that they were smaller than what we had. Just Around the area Look. of by the doctor's surgery, they were supposed to be bigger, mm. the longer ones, and that was to accommodate um, the path. They had to do a re hold redo that whole park area because the roots had lifted up. That's where people had had accidents. So the arborists that came worked out a way that would sort that out. Mm -hmm. They, and they said, well, and we'll, we'll make the seat longer in that particular place to accommodate. But they haven't. They haven't. So, what are the It is what it is. I don't think it'll be changing now, but it's in place and the aluminum. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, and it's quite neat seeing people already using them. Yeah. So. I haven't caught up in the detail on that, sorry. No. So, oh. Anything from you? Yep. Um, I was at a um, the Coromandel Area School community uh, board meeting last Monday night, and it was brought up about the lighting for the legal courts, which has been ongoing for quite a while. Now, Peter Richardson had started it. He's left a big, huge mess and has never been back, and he's always making excuses. It has been approved, the lighting to be done, and it's just the long waiting time for Peter Richardson. What is the kaupapa for um, to move to another electrician? I'm not too sure. Because we have an electrician who's put his hand up to say that he would be happy to do it, but it means to. Okay. I don't know who see. Alan, I believe there was an email sent to you pertaining to those. Yeah. So there's been Rory Ross, who's been managing their project, so um, he's followed up. He's had quite a number of doing it from yes. with, with the principal just yes. since that meeting. That's correct. Um, so he's getting on to getting the electrician sorted. Okay. Getting some action at last year. Yeah. Thank you. Season. Yes. <laughs> it's like season now. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's all sorts of reasons why, but yeah, just needs to be sorted. So, yes. so that message has got out loud and clear. Okay, that's it. Um, just on going from lighting is the, in the, the car park, lots of people making complaints about it's been on Facebook and yeah. have you about the lighting in that car park and for some reason it's not working. I'm just wondering if actually the Freedom Campus have had something to do with that, having lights, not wanting lights to be on, um, but I don't, I mean, I don't know if that is the case, but um, there is lighting in there, but it just seems to not be working. Lot, you know, lots and lots of complaints about it. I think it's the main car park. There's been an issue with lights in general around town. Yep. Sometimes the main street ones are off, sometimes only a couple of them are off. And sometimes they're on during the day and not on at night. That's right. Oh. Um, and that's the other thing, too. So. I think there's a, another another factor in the Willems Avenue car park is the vegetation is growing right under the light and the light doesn't spill onto them where it's needed. Um, there was another comment. Yeah. Okay. Um, because the trees are un un planted underneath the lights. Mm. No. And Jack's yeah. point, apparently for months and months and months, we were trying to get the light going at Jack's point back then. John Morris, you've been making inquiries, and I've been making inquiries with Bruce, and 
the um, the problem with the main street lights for some bit of time and not being turned on, and so at the time they were on during the day, then and not on at night. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I also had put past on my um, okay. The, 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 the seating and being on the footpath, and it was that um, they had, I, I need to pursue and find out why they didn't have a, just that particular one outside the doctors. Mm. They needed to make wider, or were going to make wider. Um, and um, in, in Wharf Road in Colville, the road to where they've been doing the works and they've been doing is so rutted. Like, I wouldn't even dare take my car, not my car, I'd rather take a four wheel drive over it. But the, the um, community's been complaining about that, um, that, that particular road. I've asked people to put in an RVS about it. I don't know if they have, but it's really bad. And I guess it's because they've been doing that. It's because the trucks, work. trucks have been going yeah. down it. Mm. Um, that, that's created that. But, um, mm. A bit loath to put in RFSs up there, some people, for some reason. Not sure why, but anyway. Um, um, and, and just, just want, we, we were going to be meeting with the Coble project um, people after, if we were in Coble, is that still going to happen? Not today, but no. it will be rescheduled. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll hold the September meeting up there with it Two things. Uh, one is um, I've had a it's not an official plate, complaint from the New Zealand Motor Caravan Association, but it is from some of their members who uh, are saying they can't fill up with water from the one and only dump station in Coromandel because there is there's some kind of water restriction device on the fresh water tap. Uh, I don't know when that arrived. Um, I, I know I filled up one one earlier in the past, but uh, maybe it arrived during the drought. Um, but uh, they were very much like it removed because people are leaving town because they can't stay and top up their water at the dump station, so they're moving on to other towns, so we're missing out. I don't know if you'd be able to follow that with the water infrastructure, Bruce, or Bruce. The taps that you've got, I know there's two taps, one is directly over the dump station, which is not for drinking, and there's a second tap, uh, quite close, but probably about 10 metres away. It's the second tap that hasn't got any kind of cleaning device on it, so you can't affix your hose to it. Okay. They did right. um, cut it because people were using it like, when, in the drought time when they were oh. supposed to use water, people were going down and using it. Yes. And I know that they did put some restriction on yeah. it then, and so you're probably right. And then, of course, we had the water contamination problem. Yeah. Well, you might have been away. No, no, I'm fully aware of those. Yeah, yeah. 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 so, but yeah, probably could use it a bit. Evaluation of the land of Williams Ave um, in order to progress um, discussions for the Ministry of Education. That's all from me. So, if there's nothing else, I'll move that the uh, current call of the board receive the members' reports. Do you have a second of the Second. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Against, carried. Thank you. Our next meeting, I think, is the 29th, 29th of September. September, I think. Yep. And I think we've got a workshop in the middle there somewhere. Yep. Yes. Um, the 8th here, yeah. yep, that's what I've got. Yep. So on that, I'll call the meeting close.